Technical Sergeant Joseph Anthony Perez from McDill Air Force Base. Uh, I am a, uh, what is it, uh, KC-135 crew chief. So I've uh, been there for, been doing that for close to eight years now. So, and having fun. Uh, so today, uh, we just accomplished ourselves uh, the first aircraft to aircraft ground refueling in close to almost, uh, would say like, a little bit like 40 years. So we just did that today. So the main purpose of an action or an operation like this one is to, uh, if we had a, what is it, a jet that was stranded somewhere that had to do an emergency landing uh, for an auxiliary location that there's no fuel ops, uh, we can go ahead and take our 135, land it in, fuel them up so they can get out of there. Uh, so, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, the basis of it is that we're literally connecting two airplanes on the ground because most of the time, if you're doing uh, refueling for this one, it's usually a truck or a pit or up in the sky with the 135 or KC-10 or whatnot. So this is literally taking two jets, connecting them together and transferring fuel. So making sure that's a, a possibility for the future. Uh, so there's there's plenty of agencies involved. I mean, I'll just go from uh, literally the ground up. So we've got airfield management to make sure that we actually have certified spot for this kind of activity, which go coincides with the hot pits that we do. So if you could do a hot pit on the spot, you can do an aircraft to aircraft on the spot. Uh, so we have those. Uh, we have safety. We have uh, QA. We have, of course, our maintenance personnel um, involved, of course, with the uh, the folks that are coming in here from Shaw and uh, of course our leadership uh, from the, uh, the group level and, uh, and AFSEN, of course, which approved everything from happening right now. So yeah, a lot of people. It's just a cool thing for everybody to be able to do, you know, for the first time in a long time. So it's awesome. I'm Major Holly Gramco and I'm the commander of the 379th Expeditionary Aircraft Maintenance Squadron. So today what my team did was the um, aircraft to aircraft ground refueling be between a KC-135 and an F-16. It's a procedure that has been in the KC-135 TO um, for years, uh, but it fell kind of out of use several years ago and we're trying to bring it back in a ACE kind of concept way. What we're looking at doing is providing options uh, in an AOR for doing ACE. You know, the best place for a KC-135 to be is in the air for doing refueling. But in the case that a fighter diverts to a location that doesn't have a U.S. spec fuel, or if um, the KC-135 needs to go in um, to recover some fighters or provide uh, a quick kind of recovery, um, then we can do this. All you need is a, a hose. It has two uh, fuel nozzles, one on each side, and a valve to regulate the pressure. And so you eliminate the need for our extra personnel such as POL, you eliminate the need for an R11 truck, and we're able to offload, um, even if we've landed at say 20,000 pounds, we can offload and refuel at least two or three fighters off of that and get them back in the air. Sure, so this project was started by the last rotation of leadership for the EMXG and AMXS out here. Um, they had this idea to kind of revive this procedure in, a, in an ACE style format. And they purchased the hose, the, the hose, we actually bought three hoses, it came out of squadron funds. And they um, tested out some different concepts and we actually did one um, a few months ago where we ran the hose from the KC-135 into an R11, just as a proof of concept, make sure the hose worked and didn't have any issues. Um, and so this has really been months in the work and uh, months in the making to make sure that uh, we could use this procedure safely and effectively. And now really the next steps, you know, this project isn't over. Now we're gonna look at how can we develop the host to be lighter weight, more agile, more mobile, so that um, uh, we can go in and, and get it out of the aircraft and back into the aircraft uh, easier. And then also we're working with our um, ops counterparts. So we had our air crew out here today as well. And they sat through our maintenance procedure with us of running the engine so that then they can write a dash one checklist and eventually ops would be able to bring the aircraft in, 
without turning the aircraft over to maintenance and do this procedure and get both aircraft back in the air um, with minimal time on the ground. Absolutely. So I have an incredible team out here. You know, one of the challenges with a project like this is because it goes through so many rotations, you kind of lose some of that momentum. Um, but what this team did that came in was they got motivated right away. They were um, looking forward to executing this and, and coming up with new ways to to do our mission and, and uh, do ACE out in the Air Force. And so um, they just did an incredible job. Everything went smoothly and we were able to effectively demonstrate this capability today and hopefully we can kind of extrapolate it out to the rest of the Air Force, um, especially in the Pacific AOR and, and some of the, the future fight stuff we're looking at over there. And so um, we just wanted to you know, see if we could do it, do it safe, effective, and then be able to sell this to, uh, to the rest of the Air Force to go out and do it. Oh, yeah. So, um, so the idea of finding new ways to do refueling or to do integrated combat turns, right, where you can refuel and reload a fighter to get it um, back in the air quickly, um, it's not new to look for new ways, but it's really interesting what the team did here, which is taking an old procedure or an existing procedure to convert it over. And so um, I know uh, a C-17 recently refueled um, a bomber in much the same way out at um, I'm not sure where it was at, but I know a C-17 did this recently. Um, the KC-10s at PSAB are looking to do something similar. And so um, I think it's really cool that, you know, I have this great team that's able to execute this, and then we're going to be able to share it with so many other units and, and get everyone on board to look for new ways to, to get our job and our mission done.